China's space program has been in overdrive under President Xi Jinping's leadership. One of Beijing's latest ambitions involves the Red Planet, with plans to send its first crewed mission there by 2033. Lo Min Min heads down to Wenchang. That's where one of China's four rocket launch pads is situated to find out how the country is breaking new frontiers. This small city in southern Hainan province is known as the hometown of overseas Chinese and chicken rice. For centuries, it's been sending large numbers of emigrants overseas due to natural disasters or political instability. And now, it's sending vessels into outer space. It's here that China's first module for its new space station was launched earlier this year as part of Beijing's plan to place a permanent human presence in space. The city's proximity to the space launch site has led to a rise in its fortunes. During each launch, space fans flock here. And more transformation is afoot in the formerly impoverished city. The government wants to turn this place into an international aerospace city. Construction began last year, and this will soon become China's first aerospace supercomputing center. Supporting amenities like roads, apartments, gyms and schools are also being built. When it opens next year, this $3 billion center will analyze data from space. Such data can be used in anything from climate change research to military strategy. It's part of Beijing's ambitious efforts to achieve President Xi Jinping's vision of China as a space power in all respects. And they really are in leaps and bounds emerging as a very significant space-faring nation, perhaps second only to America. China's ambitions are partly fueled by a U.S. ban on Chinese astronauts in the International Space Station, a collaboration between U.S., Europe, Japan, Russia and Canada. Since 2011, the U.S. Congress has passed a bill forbidding its aeronautics and space administration from working with China, citing a risk of espionage. I don't share that perspective. I very much believe that the more that China invests in its space capabilities and space program, the more of an incentive China has to at least have a cooperative approach and making sure that space is usable to and accessible for all. Whatever China's intentions, President Xi Jinping has declared that space is a strategic asset that needs to be managed well. And it's achieved several breakthroughs in just the last few years. Among other things, it's become the first country to land an unmanned spacecraft on the far side of the moon and the second after the United States to land a rover on Mars. But its fast-growing space program has caused some alarm, especially as Beijing has designated space as a military domain. Some analysts believe that space warfare could become part of future military campaigns by the People's Liberation Army. China is researching counterspace capabilities to have perhaps direct descent anti-satellite weapons, to have perhaps rendezvous in proximity or close approach capabilities, directed energy research, looking at jamming, um, cyber capabilities. And China is not alone, frankly, in that part. That has fueled concerns about a new arms race in space, one in which China could emerge as a front runner before long if it doesn't take its foot off the pedal. Lo Min Min, CNA, Wenchang.